Okay, hello there viewers. So let's try this subtopic. Sometimes you are given a binomial expansion and then they ask you to find the, the term which is the independent of x. Well, this type of question you can see there's a 1x at the top and there was 1x at the dino. And then you need to understand the independent of x. Basically, it means when x is power of 0. In other terms of uh, English, it means that the terms without x. So like if I give you x squared plus 2x plus 3, I can say this one is the one that independent of x because there's no x over there. x0, x, x1. x0 is power, is equals to 1. Okay? Alright, so let's try this question. So if you got these types and you want to find it, firstly, just put into the TR plus 1 formula. Alright, use this formula and insert things over there. Okay, once you got here, you, the way you, how you solve it is uh, similar to how you find the coefficient. Because the problem is you do not know when is it x power of 0 so you need to try to expand it again and you got yourself okay 1 over x i can write down as x power of negative 1 i get s minus r and i simplify it until i got this far okay so what we have done is simplify for this question what you do not know is the value of r i have no idea what is r i have no idea what is r okay so what you do from here that you want to find the value of r how well the tips goes from here you want to compare it to x8 minus 2r equals to x power of 0 why x0 because independent of x it means like x power of 0 okay so going from here you try and simplify it you got yourself r equals to 4 once you get r equals to 4 what will you do you need to substitute this r equals to 4 you need to sub back sub r equals to 4 once you substitute r equals to 4 into the formula you got yourself into something like this and simply solve it up and remember this over here it, this one you got yourself 8 minus 8 which is 0 because it's independent of x so x is going to be 0 ok and it's, remember this one is basically 8c4 press your calculator and you solve it so that will be your example number 1 ok this will be your second example and you can try it by yourself if you want to or you can watch me how I solve it okay so this time there's a little trick they have this value over here independent of x what does it mean it basically means x power of 0 so basically I just substitute back into TR plus 1 formula and I substitute in okay there's some little trick here as I mentioned just now because of this tree you can write it in many ways you can also rewrite this as uh, 1 over 3 1 over x R, R. Okay, and normally for the constant, you don't want to bring it up. If you see from my previous example, I can do something like this: at x, I bring it up, x minus r. But my tree, I I didn't bring it up because normally the constant you want to leave it by itself because you might get fraction, so you want the constant to be down there. But the x you want to bring it up because you want to interact with this one over here. But this tree, it doesn't have anyone to interact. So leave your constant down there. Okay, there's some professional tips. Pro tips for you. Okay, and then you try to expand it up. You got something like this. You can see here is my constant. My constant is by itself. And the, the x with the x. Once you got the x, what, do you, what will you want to do? You want to take this one and you want to compare to x equals to 0. Why you want to compare to x equals to 0? Because we try to find the independent of x. Okay. So once you go down here, you got r equals to 6. Once you got r equals to 6, what will you want to do? You want to substitute this one back into the equation. The substitution will be this. And you substitute and try to calculate it out. Remember this one over here, you can check it out. This one is 18. 18 minus 18 is 0. So x power of 0 basically here. You can choose to write it or not write it. It doesn't matter because x0 is 1. And then solve it up by using your calculator. Okay, that's all. Please share, comment, share, like and subscribe. And hopefully the video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.